Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Messiah Transition Pack for DaVinci Resolve. So uh, I'm using DaVinci Resolve 16.1 and the reason is because in 16.1 you have the ability to save these transitions inside power bins. So every time you want to work on a new project, you can use these transitions or you can find these transitions inside your power bins. Uh, previously in 16 and uh, below that you had to reload these transitions inside every project every new project that you're working on but in 16.1 that's changed now you can save these adjustment layers inside your power bins and you can access these transitions from your power bins so i highly recommend you to install 16.1 i believe there's a new update as well uh, it will still work on the latest uh, in the latest version of the DaVinci Resolve update. But anyways, uh, so once you install DaVinci Resolve 16.1, then uh, you also have to download the transition pack. Um, I've already downloaded it and extracted it inside the file. You'll get all these folders. Once you open up DaVinci Resolve, right click in the empty space and then click on import project. And then you just browse for the location where you have extracted these files. Um, so as you can see here, we have all these transitions. We have some title animations as well, title transitions. I'm going to show you how to install these transitions inside DaVinci Resolve. So um, I'll be installing the camera move to 1.3 for power bins transition. So if you double click on that folder inside, you will get the preview folder. And then we have the DaVinci Resolve project file as well. So first link, uh, first file is for the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you're using free version, then use this file. If you're using the studio version, then use this one. Uh, similarly, in the if you go to the Disturb Glitch Transition Pack, you have different frame rates over here. And um, we have the 1.3 for power bins, which is for studio version. And then we have... 1.3 dr free version for power bins so you install these two if you want to use these inside the power bins and then if we go to this folder the wipe move transitions you'll see that it only has one power bin file so you don't have the option to use the studio version or the free version uh, this means that it will work on both versions so um, if you want to install this uh, transition the wipe move then you have to select this file so I'm going to use this one, install this uh, pack, camera move to, and install the free version. So double click on that. And now this thumbnail will appear. So you just simply double click on it and it will open up DaVinci Resolve. And on the left side, you'll have your camera move to folder. If it's not visible, make sure your media pool is enabled. You just click on this icon, media pool, and you will see your folder. So I'm just going to double click on this folder and uh, as you can see we have some media which is offline but we do still have the transitions so the all these are the adjustment layers that are intact but we don't have the previews so we need to relink these files right click on in the empty space and then click on relink clips for bin and browse for the location where you have installed uh, or extracted the transition so in my case it's in the downloads folder messiah all it packs here we go so you don't have to go inside this folder and select every folder one by one you can just uh, select the main folder and then click on ok and once you do that you'll see that your files will be relinked now in order to save these transitions inside a power bin you need to first enable power bin so if you go up to view and then scroll down Till you see show power bins option make sure you click on that so that there's a check mark next to it and once you do that you will see on the left side you will have your power bins over here so now what you all all you have to do is go back to our master folder click on that and we have the camera move to folder just simply drag it and put it on top of the master and now you'll see that it's inside the master power bin so that means your transitions will be available inside this master section and that's it that's all you have to do to install this transition now um, if you want to work on any project your transitions will be available on any project so if you click on this home icon at the bottom right corner let's create a new project and i'm going to 
create a new project let's just save this and click on create and i'm just going to quickly drag in these two images and put them onto the timeline like that and i might need to scale this one up a bit to remove the black borders and now we can go to your power bins uh, as you can see we are in the near project and our transitions are available inside the power bins so now i can just scrub through the thumbnail and uh, see which transition looks uh, better so i can i mean all of these transitions are great so you can just pick any one that you want uh, let's use spin zero left and i can just put it right in the center and now you can just play this and it will work as expected right so you can stack multiple transitions on top so you can just drag in another one put it on top and it's still going to work okay so shouldn't go too crazy with this just use the transitions where they are supposed to be used okay so now the next step i want to show you is how to change the length of the animation or the transition so this transition the adjustment clip is two seconds long so what if we want this to be just one second long if we trim it down and place it in the center and play this you'll see that it's still going to work but still it's not going to be smooth so at the end you can see it's not ending pretty smoothly so what you can do to fix that is uh, if we click on the adjustment layer go to fusion and here you can see the timeline uh, the length of this adjustment layer is 30 frames long right over here so we can uh, go to the top right corner and you'll see keyframes here just click on that then we can click on this arrow to reveal everything let's just make some room over here and then i'm going to click on this icon that says zoom to fit just click on that and now you have this adjustment clip right over here as you can see and it is showing that it is 30 frames long now on the right side you will see all your keyframes over here uh, and as you can see that they are not lining up properly so what we need to do is just uh, select everything and then once you select it then you just click on this icon that says time stretch click on that and you will see that this box will appear around your keyframes all you have to do is just drag it and make sure that they line up the box lines up with the length of the adjustment clip and once it does that then you can go back to your edit page and play your transition and it will work as expected now it's going to be much faster than what it was before because we changed the length but apart from that it is going to work as expected now there are some transitions which you can go inside the fusion tab and play around with some values so if we just exit out of this see this camera move let's go inside go to the middle and here we can just uh, change the spin point so that means we can change the target control so if you want to put it at the top right corner we can do that and i'm um, just going to reset this so i just hit ctrl z on the keyboard we can also control the amount of camera shake and uh, camera speed as well so it's highly customizable you can then go back to edit page and play this and it will work as expected so now um i don't i'm not sure if you can see it but on my screen i can see uh, some black areas appearing in the preview uh, this has nothing to do with the transition it's just my screen recorder uh, messing up uh, with the program i guess uh, apart from that this transition pack is super clean there are no artifacts or no black borders around the transition so you can just um, use it without any problems so what are you guys waiting for just go ahead to the link in the description and download this the entire bundle which contains the titles and the transitions as well uh, these have been uh, really carefully crafted transitions so, so you can just uh, use these without any problems um, but i think that's uh, it for this video if this video is helpful you know the drill 
make sure you like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one